Hello everyone and welcome to day 3 of the Julius Bear Generations Cup uh, and uh, we started off with a game between Arjun Ergesi and Vasily Vanchuk and it's um, it's a beautiful game, it's a wonderful miniature, you guys will enjoy it, it's uh, uh, just something to, uh, to to add to every chess book like um, we say so many times uh, when the games are so aesthetically pleasing. Now let's check it out, Arjun has the white pieces and he opens with d4. Uh, we have knight to f6 and now bishop to g5, he goes for the Trompovsky attack, uh, Vassal goes d6, we have knight to c3 and now knight b to d7 and now pawn to e4, basically uh, transposing into some sort of a bishop g5 uh, uh, type of black lion's defense. Uh, we have e5 and now knight to f3. We have bishop to e7 and bishop to e uh, c4. So all very very standard ideas here. c6 now uh, trying to get a5 and b5 and so of course a4 preventing b5 and now both players just castle. So castles castles and now pawn to h6 challenging Arjun's bishop here saying do you want to capture or do you want to go back of course he's not going to capture bishop back to e3 and now rook to e8 and there are some games where h3 and bishop to e2 were played but here we have rook e1 by Arjun and it is now as of move 10 that we have a completely new game so here knight to g4 uh, going after the bishop here and uh, Arjun happily wastes uh, a tempo here by bringing the bishop back to the starting square but he will now of course kick away the knight so e captures on d4 by Vassal knight captures on d4 and here bishop to f6 and this is a very 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 uh, tricky position uh, point being that the knight is still on d7 and the bishop is not controlling the f5 square so of course the f5 square is now available for Arjun's knight I will just show a fun line as obviously something you have to know if you're playing the black line uh, for example if in this position you play knight to c5 which is uh, which is very nice uh, then what happens is uh, it's just very different because the bishop now controls the f5 square and the standard idea of uh, basically refuting the knight being on c5 b4 in this position does not work because here you would have bishop h4 going after the f2 pawn and okay you kick away the bishop g3 but now bishop to f6 and it seems like you're giving up a piece but re really you're not because once you've played b4 uh, the knight on c3 is no longer defended so now if b captures on c5 d captures the knight is attacked and has to move let's say knight f5 Queen captures on d1, rook captures, and after bishop captures on f5, e captures, uh, black finishes with a nice bishop captures on c3, that's attacking the rook, and you get this position where uh, black is up a pawn and very very happy with his position so uh, knight to c5 definitely uh, much much a better idea or even knight d to e5 but the bishop to f6 allows uh, Arjun to really uh, uh, take advantage of the position he plays knight to f5 now puts pressure on the d6 pawn and it makes sense for Vassal to move the knight so he plays knight to b6 again uh, the e5 is the correct square for the knight but he plays knight to b6 attacks the bishop and now Arjun just uh, completely uh, uh, obliterate, uh, obliterates a vassal from the board. He plays bishop captures on f7 with check. And now, okay, you have to capture as the rook would be hanging. So king captures, now queen captures on g4, and now bishop captures on c3. B captures on c3, and while the position is still playable, but you have to play it with bishop captures on f5. If, if, if you play this, then queen captures with check, queen f6, and okay, we trade queens, and now you get this position where Arjun would be up a pawn, he would have a bishop against the knight but still he had a, he has a very uh, damaged pawn structure uh, okay white would be better but he would have to r really prove that he can do something with this position however after queen to f6 uh, it is not um, uh, possible to come back from this because here Arjun plays queen to h5 with check and now how do you play this if you play g6 of course then just knight captures on h6 you lose the pawn with check and after king g7 you just bring the queen back and everything is perfectly fine the knight is nicely defended uh, uh, black's king set is completely ruined it will be a very very easy win for white so instead after queen to h5 check king to f8 is played by Manchuk, and now uh, there is a beautiful beautiful idea so feel free to pause the video and win the game for arjun already on move 17 uh, while i give you a couple of seconds 
So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding either of the two ideas, either Knight Captors on G7 or Knight Captors on D6, uh, as you are truly an amazing tactician. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, this is what Arjun played, Knight Captors on D6. I in case you're wondering, if you capture here, uh, point is if Queen captures, then Bishop captures on H6, wins the Queen here. And of course, uh, if you don't capture uh with the queen if you capture with the king then the rook on e8 hangs so that's the problem but arjun goes for a different plan he plays knight captures on d6 now making queen captures impossible because the bishop can trap the queen from this side as well that's the power of the bishop uh, you know when you're wondering is the bishop better than knight uh bishop can do quite a lot using the entire board however he can only do it on one uh, color squares uh knight uh, doesn't have that uh, that much firepower however, however he can go where, wherever he plays is just not very quickly so here after knight captures on d6 rook to e5 uh, attacking the queen here and now just queen back to d1 uh, we have king to g8 moving the king away from this nasty diagonal but now a spectacular move by arjun just taking uh, just absolutely uh, taking the most uh, out of the position pawn to a5 spectacular the knight has no squares uh, of course all of these squares are covered and if you go to d7 then just knight captures on c8 removes the defender of the knight then queen picks up the knight uh, absolutely crushing so knight to d5 is played trying to give up the material this way but first knight captures on c8 knight captures on c3 at least you will do something before you before you give up material but now queen d7 defends the knight here knight captures on e4 and now bishop to e3 uh, there, there there's really no move here you are just um, uh, <laughs> without without any good ideas here and now after queen f7 arjun very very happily trades queen captures on f7 king captures and now he finishes again with the absolutely most precise move bishop to d4 and he was in this position on move 25 uh, that Vasily Vanchuk resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here in modern times uh, a win in uh, 25 or under moves is considered a miniature so definitely you know well deserved for for uh especially when playing against uh, <laughs> a genius like like um uh, Ivanchuk here and uh, this also means that Arjun extends his lead as he was leading going into the third day uh, ahead of Magnus and, and Pragnananda uh so we'll see if he can take it all the way but yeah here he resigned because um the rook is attacked once the rook moves doesn't really matter where you're just gonna play rook captures on e4 and that's it now if rook captures a nice fork uh, picks up the rook as well not king e6 captures here you're up a bishop and the knight and even if you don't um, accept this for example if rook e8 and rook captures on e4 you could also capture the knight here doesn't matter you just trade captures captures you pick up the a7 pawn and still you are up a full piece of course this is completely winning so uh ivan does not want to play this he says i'm uh, i'm just uh, you know i'm done uh good game uh young young sir and he resigns uh so yeah uh, that's the game hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and that maybe you've uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the the black line defense and also the if, if a similar position arises from the Trompovsky like it did here can be a bit of a problem, you know, for, for players. There are some ideas like you can counter it with A for A5 and then, you know, maybe some uh, just uh, standard moves. Uh, but also you can see that if black doesn't really know how to remaneuver those knights back into the game, uh, you can uh, fall victim to a, a very sharp attack very early on. Uh, so uh, that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it big congratulations to Arjun for such a spectacular victory uh, I would like to thank Marcello De Baros uh, yeah, Paul Sertanovic Ante Butigan is uh, Dalmatia Francis Air and uh, Guia Para La Paz Interior for a contribution to my channel thank you a lot I really appreciate it as usual you can check two of my previous videos here thank you all for watching and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of this spectacular event uh, until it finishes uh, so thank you all I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day